What's going on guys? It is Mark Rutt here, and uh, we're gonna do something a little bit different. After the holidays, we put on some pounds, okay? So I think it's about time that we get into a calorie deficit here. All right, we gotta lose some pounds that we've gained, and we gotta get on the right track. What I'm gonna be doing for the next week is I'm gonna be eating just junk food. Now, hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna be eating junk food, but I'm gonna be in a calorie deficit, all right? We're gonna see if the calorie deficit is really all it takes to lose weight. All right, that's that's the main goal here is just to figure that out. We're trying to figure out if these diets like keto and or just like low carb carnivore or intermittent fasting, we're gonna see if those are just unnecessary and all you have to be is in a calorie deficit. All right, that's the plan, that's the goal. My maintenance calories is about 2350 and we're gonna be in a 500 calorie deficit. So if you can do the math, that's 1850 calories, all right, every day. I'm just eating junk food, all right? So how do I think this is gonna go? Uh, I think I'm gonna be super hungry, man, because these high protein, low calorie foods that fill you up, that's not the case here, man. These are just high calorie, non-protein, you know, sugar-filled foods that don't fill you up. So I think I'm gonna reach my calories for the day and just be freaking starving the whole day, but we're gonna see, man. I mean, it's gonna be junk food, so it's gonna taste good, that's for sure, but uh, I'm not looking forward to it. As weird as it sounds, I'm not looking forward to it. So let's get the week started, man, let's go. Starting weight, January 1st. Holy crap. Yo, I was like 157 a few days ago, so uh, you know that holiday food really got to me. Holy crap. 165? I better lose some weight with this challenge, I swear. We are going to start the day off with a mocha coffee, 70 calories, and we are going to start off with a donut. All right, it's not a Boston cream. I had a few of those last night. That's our, that's our tradition. All right, for New Year's, we got some donuts. So we're gonna start off with just a chocolate donut from Dunkin' Donuts. So let's start us off. Mmm, let me sit down for this. What a way to start off 2021, man. Mmm, super set some coffee in there. Cheers, bro. Later in the week, bro, I'm gonna feel like shit. No real vitamins or minerals or healthy foods or anything, just junk foods, man, I'm gonna feel like shit. But coffee and donut, meal number one. What's going on, guys? I just came back from the grocery store, and man, I felt like a fat ass, man. I was totally out of my realm. I was getting honey buns, donuts, cookies, Oreos, stuff like that, stuff I'm totally not used to, but that's all right. I'm gonna feel like shit this whole week. I also just got my lunch for the day. Got some. Bojangles, man. Cajun filet biscuit combo. If you don't have Bojangles near you, I'm sorry. This stuff is really good and really bad for you, but that's the goal. I also have to be pretty smart with my calories here. So I'm not gonna be eating any sauces and I'm not gonna be getting any like Pepsis or sodas or anything because I cannot drink my calories with this challenge, man. I would be freaking starving. So I just got a water, all right? So I'm gonna be drinking some water. I'm gonna cut down on my sauces and uh, I gotta save those calories, man, because I'm not gonna be eating that much. Really not. Woo, look at that. And uh, let's dig into this thing, man. It's looking good. First bite. So good. I'm so hungry. Let's get some fries. On second thought, I got some G Hughes, man. Two tablespoons, five calories. That will be my sauce of choice. Or the 10 calorie barbecue sauce ones. Which is whatever, it's like five, 10 calories. Gotta, gotta add some flavor. So that was lunch number one of day number one. What a great start. All right guys, as a midday snack, I'm gonna be eating this honey bun. Let's get it. I should've heat this up. I ain't that quick, man. Only one more bite left, shit. That's it, man. 230 calories just like that. Boom. I think that Bojangles only kept me full for like three hours. Usually the meals that I eat that are around 400 to 500 calories, man, they'll last me four to five hours. So a meal that's like 800 calories from Bojangles only lasts me three hours. You already know, not the right way to go. Oh well, snack down. We'll see what else we got next. What we're gonna do next, another snack, some Ritz toasted chips, man. We're gonna have two servings of this, 260 calories. I'm gonna enjoy these. And uh, we'll get back to you with my last snack at the end of the night. All right, to finish this off, for the night, we've got two Cinnamon Toast Crunch treats, 100 calories each. Let's get started. Not too bad. I'm trying to enjoy this because last meal of the day, if you can call it a meal, last bite. Last bite, just I. So that's gonna do it for day one. Calories and macros will be on the screen here. 
I was pretty hungry throughout the day, not gonna lie. And uh, I feel like it's just gonna, it's gonna get worse throughout the week. So we'll see, man, we'll see. Day number two, we're gonna start off the day with one of these brown sugar cinnamon Pop-Tart. It's gonna be our breakfast, man. Not the best breakfast. <laughs> you already know I gotta toast that up. Let's try it out. Been so long. Brown sugar cinnamon, definitely my favorite Pop-Tart. Let me know what you guys think. It's just so damn good. Mm. Just got home from work and uh, it is time for a snack, man. I am freaking starving, no joke. So we're gonna go with these uh, Krispy Kreme chocolate uh, donut hole bite things. Two of these bags, that equals 380 calories total. Let's enjoy these things, man. I am mm, not kidding when I'm hungry. After I eat these, I'm gonna be full. Just kidding, I'm gonna be hungry still, probably. I'm scared for the shits that I'm gonna have from eating these foods. I know what's coming. It's gonna hit me. I know what's coming. Last one already. Jesus, gone so quick, man. So good, but didn't last for long. I'll see you for my last final snack and uh, probably go to bed hungry, but do what I have to do. Boom, finished off with a serving of Ritz toasted chips, sour cream and onion, real good. That will be the last thing for the day. Still hungry for the night. I mean, that's okay. That's, that's what I expected, man. Gonna go to bed hungry, probably. Calories and macros will be on the screen right here for the entire day. It's pathetic, bro. Look at that protein. That's like a fifth of my protein right there. So much carbs and fats. It's not good, man. My body, my body doesn't like it. It's all good, bro. So guys, in the interest of time, I'm just gonna run through a little compilation of all the junk foods that I have eaten all right, over the last week. All right, I'm gonna show you all the junk foods I've eaten. I'm also going to weigh myself and I'm going to give my entire thoughts on this whole process here. What I think about eating junk food and getting this kind of stuff into your diet and um, if the calorie deficit is the only thing that matters. All right, so let's run through that compilation. Woo! guys so the one week is over i just wanted to go over my uh, my thought process here and i just want to talk about how my whole week went you know as a whole so uh it kind of sucked it i mean it really sucked it's not worth it man eating shitty foods or at least all shitty foods in a diet and you know in like a calorie deficit to try and lose weight it's just it's just absurd okay it's just not gonna happen definitely long term even short term man that, that shit was tough and by shit i mean my little shits were just, they were just terrible, okay? No one likes to talk about this shit. I keep saying shit, but um, I'm trying to emphasize my shits, okay? They were just, um, yeah, I guess that's enough about the shits. But um, other than the shits, I was really hungry the, the entire time, pretty much. I was going to bed hungry. Um, my sleep was completely off, man. I just couldn't sleep some nights for some reason. I don't know if that had to do with the diet, but um, all of a sudden my sleep, my sleep cycle was just way off. I was going to bed like 3, 3.30 a.m. I just couldn't sleep. I also felt like shit the entire week, you know, getting that low amount of protein and just eating all these fats and carbs and stuff. My body did not like that, you know? There was no vitamins or minerals or anything or anything nutritious about the foods that I was, that I was eating. So, felt terrible, couldn't sleep, always hungry, shits were terrible. Um, some other fifth reason probably, but I don't know. But I would never do that again, ever. Now, uh, as for the pros, the food tasted amazing. That's the thing with these foods. They're filled with sugar. Yeah, they were literally made to be good. I mean, vegetables and chicken and beef and stuff like that, that's good, but it's not good, good, you know what I mean? So, tasted really good, and I didn't have to meal prep. That was the only two pros I can come up with, honestly. Everything else was just terrible. I would never recommend eating like that and trying to be in a calorie deficit. I mean, it just putting those two things together just doesn't work. And as far as maybe just eating one unhealthy food, like let's say you wanted to add like a honey bun in your diet, which is 230 calories. Let's say you just love honey buns and you wanted to eat one. You could fit that in your diet. 
Sure, let's say that your calorie deficit is 2,000, right? You could eat 1,770 calories of good stuff, high in protein, low in calories, you know, be full. That's the goal is being full while still being in your calorie deficit. And then you can treat yourself at night or whenever you want to have it really with the honey bun. And if you really love these junk foods like that and you can't see yourself doing a diet without them, then I say go for it. You know, if you can make it work, then make it work. You want to eat the foods that won't fill you up, but they taste really good. You can mix them in there somehow. Yeah, so calorie deficit, eat the foods that you love, no restrictions. You can eat bread, you can eat rice, have a honey bun. But yeah, I ended up losing the weight. A lot of that weight was New Year's food eating. All that weight wasn't fat that I gained. You know, it was water weight and other stuff, but I did lose the weight. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you learned something, hit the like button. If you loved it, please consider subscribing. It'll help the channel grow and I'll be posting new videos every week. So stay tuned for that. That's it for me guys. Take care, cause I care.